So, you've been diagnosed with long COVID. I just want to reassure you, you can do something about it and it is nothing new at all. My dad, when he was going through schooling, he was hit by glandular fever so hard he had to leave and he was in bed for a year. It's nothing new um, and you can do something about it. You will get out the other side, but I will ask you that you need to start examining how you've been living in your life and why you were so susceptible to getting hit by COVID this hard. Now, you'll want to look at your diet, look at your sleep routine, look at how, the quality of your sleep. Are you looking at screens before bed? Are you sat in front of a computer all day? All these different aspects of your health, you need to examine to understand why you were hit by a virus that hard. Now, my own, my own experience, I had ME, had to leave A levels because I was just just absolutely flawed. I don't know whether it was a virus or not, but I was absolutely flawed. I came out the other side of it, got back into normal life, slipped up on my diet quite a lot, started going to bed late, just falling into bad routine, hit by glandular fever, knocked me out for a good six months. Went back to my diet that I know worked for me at the time, started going to bed early, resting. If I felt like my body was very heavy and tired, that's your body saying, give me a break. <laughs> Just chill out, stop pushing through it all the time. I know it's very difficult with life's commitments and everything, but the more you can do it, the better. Submit to those feelings of your body just wanting to have a rest. Now, this was crucial for me when I was recovering. Each of the times I've had, you know, glandular fever, adrenal fatigue, ME, all the times I've had these issues, just because you're sat in front of a computer doesn't mean you're resting. You are still concentrating with your brain and it's stimulating you and it's not real rest. Going to bed early, turning all electricals off at eight o'clock at night, maybe reading a book or just listening to an audio book like I did, actually having proper rest, having good proper food, all these things are going to impact you, how you are going to recover after being hit by COVID this hard. I'm not sure what else I can say about this. You just got to examine your life, how you're living it, how you can improve it, rest because that's what, what your body is wanting right now. And just, it will take time but you will get out the other side of this and it is nothing new. And the way the media is portraying it, like long COVID, it's just wrecking people's lives and it's something new, we have no idea what's gonna happen. And the worst bit about it is they go, we're gonna fund it. We're gonna get a, a cure for long COVID. People with ME, fibromyalgia, you know, post-viral syndrome, you know, glandular, glandular fever, all these different things, they're still waiting and they've been waiting a very long time. And if I was to hazard a guess, if you're somebody that's waiting for a cure through the NHS or uh, health professionals, you're gonna be waiting a very, very long time. So my recommendation is to take your health into your own hands because that's the only way you're gonna get through it. When a doctor tells you you have long COVID, Within half an hour, he's seen someone else. He's forgot about you. He isn't living in your life every hour of every day. He has to detach to get on with his job. The only person that lives their life hour to hour, day to day, month to month, year to year, and experiences the lows and the highs that you have is yourself. So you have to take your health into your own action, your own hands, sorry, today, to get the results you want. You don't want to be living with this. You don't want to put your control into someone else's hands that doesn't really care because you're going to be waiting a long time and it's going to really negatively impact your life as a whole. So, you know, if you have some questions, fire them at me. I'm probably missing stuff, but I just wanted to make it quick and know, let you know that it isn't forever. It isn't a death sentence. You will get out the other side of it. You just need to do some work.